Hey everyone, welcome to the Receive Podcast. It's Christmas. Na, 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 na. Christmas Day? It's Christmas. The, it's the 23rd during this live stream. Oh, I'm Gus, uh, by the way. I'm Gavin. I'm Chris. Miss. <gasps> Dog! <laughs> <laughs> and Gus. Uh, it's Christmas. So I guess it's when we're live. This is the 23rd, and this comes out on YouTube on Christmas Day. We're pre-taped, by the way. This is pre-taped. Did I mention this dog is here? That dog is awesome. <laughs> it's it's Itsy the dog. Itsy loves crunchy food. I walked by earlier eating Fritos, and her head just like shot around to look at me instantly as I was walking by. She loves by. the crunch. That's the cutest, one of the cutest objects on the planet that I've ever seen. Yeah, it's gonna give Scrappy Dog a run for its money. But just look at it! Cute! Look at his sweater! Look at his head! Her. Oh. Watch it. No, it. See. <laughs> now you don't pay attention to me, of course. No, that, that, that's <laughs> over. Now, get some Fritos and then we'll talk. How many sweaters do you have for your dogs? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. Probably four or five. Okay. Each? No, no, total. total. Oswald hates sweaters. You have like, don't okay. you have like a little bed for your dog? Yes, like, I do. They like, have like a little bed they can lounge on in the living room. <laughs> I mean, that, that's not <laughs> uncommon though. Yeah, but like it's, it, it looks like a bed bed. Kind of. Oh, like a human yeah. bed. Do you make it? <laughs> no, 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 no. I bought it. I bought it on Etsy. Etsy. Oh, and this is this is Etsy the dog. Yeah, this the, is not Anna to be confused. Dog. They're con they're cousins. Anna does the hair and makeup for this podcast. Yeah, where and she's today she somewhere. blessed us oh, with okay. Etsy. Do you think I, views on YouTube <laughs> are lower on Christmas Day, or do you think people want to get away from their families and watch a bit of podcast? I could see it going either way. I'm yeah. going to bet lower. I would say lower. Yeah. I always find it. I don't know, I always feel a bit guilty if I use my phone too much on Christmas. Yeah. And actually, yeah. if I was like sneaking off to watch stuff. Sometimes you need to get away though. That's true. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, we have so many options for thumbnails with that dog. Oh yeah. There she goes. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's got a mouthful in there. What are you eating, Eric? We got breakfast. Oh yeah, we got breakfast. We got uh, some uh, eggnog. There's no vegan eggnog. We got a- uh, What was for breakfast? Vegan Mexican hot chocolate. Oh wow. But it's cold. They got okay. some pancakes, they got some breakfast tacos, eggs, I think you guys got some it's ham or it's sausage. pancake day? Well, it's oh. a pancake day, but it's, it's just morning. pancake. Yeah. Okay. It's more, it's morning. <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, in morning. We sat down here right before we started, and Chris sat down, he looked at the eggnog and the bottle of rum. I didn't hear your pun, what'd you say? <laughs> I said, we're in morning. Very good. I could, oh, I could oh. see you. I could see you pausing, and I was like, I didn't acknowledge it. What was it? <laughs> I always, I always know when the when they catch me make a pun because the camera will stay on me. Yeah, I'll see the red light. I didn't so. hear the pun, but I saw you on the screen making pun face. So I was like, okay, let's <laughs> yeah. go back and see what that was. Um, we sat we down. Let's have a replay. <laughs> and Chris uh, looked at the eggnog, and he looked at the rum. And he said, "It's morning. It's a little early." <laughs> and I was like, oh, do it. Go ahead. He's like, okay. He's like, it didn't take any convincing <laughs> no at all. Convincing. He opened it or he, he poured it's it. Like eggnog. It's Christmas. Yeah. Is it okay to drink in the morning on Christmas? I think so. It's okay to drink in the morning, period. Okay, I'll go That's with that. That's why mimosas and Bloody Marys exist. But see, and I eggnog. feel like those are, those are morning drinks, right? Like if you order a mimosa at night, you're an asshole. Yes. I think it may be, yeah. But right. if you order like a screwdriver, you're not. Right. It's like, it's carbonated, so it's okay in the morning. <laughs> that but bubbles you're, in that. But you if you order a yeah, champagne yeah. at night, you're not a weirdo. A what? A champagne. Right. But if you order a mimosa, you're weird. But then if you order a screwdriver, you're well, fine. But like, where, does, where does Bloody Mary fit into that, right? It's like, if that's only morning. There is no nighttime equivalent. I'll have a vodka tomato juice. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Can you order an eggnog in the summer? No. Order, Chris, where would you order an eggnog? <laughs> You can just go to her, uh, like an eggnog place. I guess so. You can just go to a bar on 6th Street, you're like, I'll have an eggnog. <laughs> they would tell you to get the fuck out. What the fuck? Where do you think you are? I guess it is weird to order a Bloody Mary late. Right. It's like, we don't have any celery anymore. We don't have any of that stuff. They've like run out of all the fresh produce. I love Bloody Marys though. They're pretty good. It's like my, it's my one of my favorite drinks. That and Moscow Mule is probably up there. I know you like a cheeky mule. I have a mule, yeah. But I don't know, like... I just can't have too many. Like, I get... I feel like if I have... A lot of sugar. Yeah, you get, like, hungover before you get drunk if you have too many mules. I feel like you you get, like, a... Like a sugar hangover. Yeah, it's pretty yucky. Before anything. Like, I'll, I'll have a maximum of two mules. Yeah, I think it's like a starter mule, you know? Start a mule, yeah, sit down, and, get and a bit fancy. And then you then maybe get to, into the... the then then move, move on, on to eggnog. cheaper drinks. Get your copper mug. <laughs> it's a little spicy. What is in this? Spicy? I've got a I've got a sore throat. I'm like, I'm, I've got a cold, so it's got something that's irritating my throat. That's you know what's good for that? Red pepper. It's got red pepper. 
in the chocolate almond Mexican breeze? hot chocolate. Ooh. Oh, I didn't see that it was Mexican it's hot It's actually chocolate. really good. Here, at, would it be go good with eggnog? Yes. Yeah, it Probably. absolutely would. Pass that over to Chris. Do you she only have eggnog there in there? Too. Y'all should try that. That's actually really delicious. This is not brought to you by whoever made that Mexican hot chocolate. <laughs> Almond the, Breeze. The Mexican Hot Chocolate Council. Yeah, you, you sound like shit. You sound sick. I feel like shit. Why'd you come in? Because we have to do this. You this could have weird. gotten someone else to do it. Yeah, like last minute I'd be like, hey, can you go in and do the most important job in the company? Nobody's ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to do it. <laughs> you don't have to laugh that hard, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best joke you've ever made, Gus. <laughs> I, I almost got sick this year. Did you, I was, did you think yourself out of it? Sorry. I did, because I always do that, even though that is scientifically total <laughs> nonsense. No, I bet but, you there's something to that. But I actually, I was just on the couch playing a bit of Pokemon, and I was like, throat hurts, and then I sneezed like four times, and I was like, I just got sick right, right here. Then. The next day I felt terrible, my throat was hurting, had a cough. The day after that I was fine. You sure it wasn't just allergies? No, I don't think so. I'm not really allergic to anything. I have been here eight years. You've almost been here eight years. Yeah. I think I Couple just started days. getting allergies this year. Oh, uh, I mean, it happened. It's really yeah. bad right now. Everyone yeah. gets them. Well, the, yeah, that's what, because I never had allergies before moving here, and then I didn't for the first couple of years. And then this past year has just been, I guess they decided to all get, get they, like, gather up? together and build get on, up. Get on that flow naze. I, ha I right? have developed what I think is an allergy to fake cinnamon flavor. Go on. Don't have any of this. Oh, like, like how'd Fireball? How'd you discover that? Does, I thought Fireball had real cinnamon. Does it have real cinnamon in it? Real cinnamon, I think, is fine. Like, Fireball doesn't affect me. If I have, like, one of those, are they the orange Tic Tacs? The ones that mm -hmm. have oh, yeah. shitty fake cinnamon flavor? This no, no, no. Those it. are, the orange are, are the orange ones. Oh, it's real cinnamon, though, Red right? ones? Red ones. What's, are, what's yeah, the it's, fake? It's, it has cinnamon in it. In cinnamon this. in it. Cinnamon in it. Cinnamon in it. In it. <laughs> that looks, that she looks pretty good. Fireball, ha Fireball has, uh... <laughs> Cinnamon flavoring. Anyway, whatever those Tic Tacs are, they like burn through my tongue. Mm, you sure? I feel like I'm, I'm just, like a capsule of acid. I was on a- Like it hurts? Hurts. Hmm. I was on my a flight with Kara one time, uh, Kara Eberly, who voices Weiss and used to work at Rich Teeth as well. And we were sitting next to each other and we had been upgraded on that flight. So at the end, what they do is sometimes they give you mints at the end of the flight when you're mm -hmm. like landing. Only for breast fat. Right, which ours was. So we both open it up and put it in our mouth, and I, it's a cinnamon mint. It's not like a mint mint. And I didn't know this, but Kara apparently hates cinnamon, like to the point of like she'll get sick. And all I saw out of the corner of my eye was... <laughs> 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 and she was like freaking out. I'm like, are you choking? What's going on? She's like, it's cinnamon! <laughs> like, oh, maybe God. she has the same, yeah, maybe the same she has reaction. The same thing, like, it's it like it burns. Yeah, she like... Was having an issue with it that whole rest of flight. Yeah, it's a new thing for me. It's since I moved here. Mm. Um, it, I'll have it if I have like if I have the whole mint or the whole thing, my tongue will hurt for like three days. Ooh. Really? Yeah, and I was like, that couldn't have been from the cinnamon mint. And then I had did it again, like to see if I it was like two months later. And I was like, wow, oh, I have like a thing for that now. I think that used to happen to me when I was a kid, but I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I would like eat cinnamon stuff. And I'd be like, ow, it hurts. <laughs> I want more. What's yeah. that word? Masochism? Yeah, this no. began Chris's descent no. into masochism. <laughs> Eating cinnamon does not count. So that's why you enjoy playing Chris and Chris and Clayton so much, huh? <laughs> no, it, yeah, it, it's playing just like, Chris. It's just yummy cinnamon. It's like, it's spicy. It's like the same way you- No, you know, I you... don't want to wear the shot collar today. <laughs> 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 it's yummy pain, is that what you said? Yummy cinnamon. Like yummy, like, like the way spicy stuff is like, kind of tasty. It, a little spice. The word yummy after you're past a certain age is so funny to me. Wow. <laughs> People who call things yummy. There's, there's some words like that. Like the, another one that bothers me, I think I've said before, is tummy. I hate that. My tummy? I hate when people say tummy. Yeah. That one seems like four year old. So does yummy, dude. I hate to break it to you. Wait, really? Yeah. Is it really that? Yeah, like there's a word a... called delicious. I'm not sure if you're familiar or with tasty. it. Tasty. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about scrummy? I don't think anyone's ever said that before. You are a liar. What's the- I saw a clip, so you guys just did an episode of Ready, Set, Show where you were doing British slang. Yeah. And it was a clip of Trevor looking you straight in the face and going, was it Bosh? Dosh? Dosh. Dosh. Yeah, and he tries to, um, like once per episode of that, he'll try and like get right up and <laughs> look for like micro expressions when he says stuff. Yeah. But I gave him nothing. Was that a real word? Dosh, yeah. It means what? money.
Also, apparently, <laughs> I can't come up with any fake slang because somewhere it's real. Yeah. Oh. Like, I, I have to. I have to like do two English words and then just make up something. So I'll just make up something. And then I'll realize that that's real somewhere. I was like, God damn it! It's or like so hard to in invent the, a word. Someone in the comments will be like, No, that's real. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Happened with uh, I think chut. What chut? did that mean? I was just trying to come up with a fake fake uh, money. So I was like, think coming off chutney. I was like, oh, a bit of chut, but that means chewing gum in some places. Oh, <laughs> shit! I've heard chuddy for chewing gum. That makes some. That makes more chut. sense. Chud like yeah. a cow. Yeah. Oh yeah Pud? yeah yeah. 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 Like, like, come up with a word now. Come up with a word for money. Bluff. <laughs> Bluff. That sounds like that sounds like a Star Wars thing. <laughs> oh. Bluff. I feel like you just need to take like a syllable, mix in like a vowel, and then like another like <laughs> letter. You just bookend it with consonants. Yeah. Snop. Speaking of which, the uh, speaking of Star Wars, the uh, new episode of Baby Yoda came out today. Oh, in preparation for the premiere, right? Or not the premiere? The the movie. Oh, premiere. is that why? I heard something that they were going to release like the last two episodes during Star Wars week. Oh, okay. Yeah, one came out today, and I think the next one's next week. Is it not Friday? I don't know. I think it might be Friday. So I was really thrown off because I was like reading news sites this morning trying to find stuff to talk about in the podcast. And I saw like our review of Mandalorian episode seven. I was like, today's Wednesday. Yeah. What day does it usually come out? Friday. Fridays. Everyone knows. It's Baby Yoda Day. Okay. All right. it's, it's officially changed. So cute. Itsy kind of reminds me of Baby Yoda. Yeah. <laughs> The ears. I think all dogs like that. It's funny how they're ears. now putting out merchandise for pre-sale, like official merchandise, and it's like available May 2020. Jeez. And you're like, I'm like, even gonna want it then. Yeah, you Which sounds very like consumeristic. What's the word? Like, like you're in the moment. If like, you want it now, yeah. but you won't want it later, like why are you even bothering ordering it? Ordering it? Right. To say like, oh, I'll be over that show by then, or like I won't care. You about know, and it by plus, then. you don't know. Like, there's still two more episodes left. Baby Yoda might turn out to be. Evil still want might, him. might be another Harvey Weinstein. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, Where did that come see, from? we don't know. <laughs> I was thinking about him the other day. I saw a fucking. I guess he went to court. Yeah, he settled his shit. He was trying to brag about like all the good he's done for women. Oh, I saw that. that yeah, yeah. It was like you are in your own like world. Yeah, like not aware. Go Even if you could quantify that, who cares? Yeah, it it doesn't like, outdo all the awful that you've right. done. And uh, yeah, just like get it over with, be done with it. Don't try to backpedal in any direction. Just get, just get the fuck through it, man. Mm -hmm. Man, Eric's just storming around back there. Uh, Everything okay, man? Uh, yeah, I just had to take some medicine. You putting out fires? No medicine. Get medicine. All right, well, you, you just drank some rum. Yeah, and I had to take medicine for the for rum. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rum medicine. You ever, you ever taken medicine with liquor? Like, no. I'm not feeling very well. <laughs> I'm gonna take some Tylenol and chase it with a shot of vodka. It's probably bad for your liver. It's probably really bad for you. Yeah, but I can't have more until the show's over because I don't. I'm not gonna come on set, so huh? So I have to wait. And now he can't I'll, have more alcohol. You can't have alcohol for an hour, so you're taking medicine now. No, I have a toothache. This. No, it, I have a toothache. That didn't. <laughs> I have a toothache. That's why I took medicine. Are we talking to the soundboard? Because it think, makes about <laughs> as much sense. <laughs> <It's something. laughs> Yeah, yeah, baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. There we go. Oh. That, was, that was more energetic. So what, what, what are you doing on today, Christmas Day, if you're watching on YouTube? Uh, are I'm, you watching this on YouTube on Christmas Day? No, I'm oh, not. Okay. Uh, I, might, I, might, I might be reading the comments, though. We ask, yeah. you know, Now we ask people at the end of the show on YouTube to leave us a comment, and I like to go through and see if people actually did. And uh, sometimes I'll talk. With, I'll chat with them there. Hmm. Also chat with them at roosterteeth.com. And normally if we're live, I would do that with our chat with first members, but... We're not like we have no one to talk to but each other. Yeah, so it's just us. We're staring into nothing. Uh, no, I'll, I'll be uh, looking through the comments and uh, you gonna watch know. the Queen's speech? Is the Queen giving a speech on the on Christmas Day? She does it every Christmas. Day. Does she? Yeah. It would be weird if an American watched it, but you could try it. See what she's chatting about this year. What, what time? Would what it what be kind at? of things does she talk about? Hey, just you know, state of the the country and all that. Does she know good things? Yeah, she's the leader. Is she? Oh, she's doing a pretty shit job, isn't she? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, no, I had no idea. I think is she's it done like it. A, a, like is it a radio address or does she get out on a balcony and just yell? I think it used to be radio. Oh, there's video. She does it on, on on TV. See, see when it's on this year. What time? I was gonna, I was gonna Maybe for a YouTube video. Oh, my internet's not working. That's cool. <laughs> 
Oh, the uh, Queen Christmas Day speech. Uh, when is the Queen? Queens. When is the Queen's Christmas mess? There we go. Does hmm. she say Happy Christmas? Yeah. Just because that's I've only ever heard British people say Happy Christmas instead of Merry Christmas. It's been a tradition since 1932. Happy Christmas, Ron. You happy Christmas, Harry. I don't Ooh. see why that's weird, though. It's, a happy it's not. Time. I don't think it's weird. I think it's just. You say like, Happy Birthday. It's, it's just unique to British. It's at 3 yeah. p.m. on BBC One, uh, oh. ITV, Sky One. And She's Sky been doing East. it since the 30s. 32. It'll run for about 10 minutes. Oh, I found I found her speech from ni- from from 19 from 2018. <laughs> oh, look at this production value. Yeah, they go all out. It's oh. like a big event. People gather around the telly. Wow. I never. I've actually. My my family just was never interested, so we didn't watch it. But it's a thing every year. Are you going we home look, for the looks holidays? Good. She's really old. Yeah, she old. She's look like, at her tree. That is sizable. I think she's got a little bit of money. <laughs> nah. I, I could be wrong. Got okay. the, the old crown estate. Jeff Bezos is the richest person in the world, right? Yeah, I believe so. How rich is the royal family? I don't think you can quantify that. Can you not? I feel like there are richer people than him, but like they're Putin? like rich families and... Like, or people who hide their people, money. Yeah, like like Putin has to be richer than... I would imagine. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. He must be. When's the last time you think someone looked him in the face and called him Jeffrey? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Probably when he was a child and his mother called him that. Yeah. He'd be like walking up to Bill Gates and calling him Billy. <laughs> or William. Or, what? or William. Well, I assume that's his first name, right? Yeah, I think so. William? I think it's actually Billiam. Bill- <laughs> I'm a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Billiam Gates. I was thinking last when night. When I made my it? first billiam, I... <laughs> I That's what thinking, his mom could say. Well, I was watching something <laughs> and there was a character named Hal. And I started thinking, what is Hal short for? I had, I had to look it up. Hal Should we guess? You can guess if you want. Halba. Halba. Halbus. Halibut. No, that's fish. Hal. It's probably something that doesn't start with H. Uh, like maybe Hal's the middle. Harold. Hmm. That's a good guess. That would be my guess, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Are you going with Halibut, Chris? <laughs> yeah, we'll go with Halibut. Why the hell not? <laughs> Halibut not. I, I had also guessed Harold. It, it, it can be Harold, Henry, or Harry. Okay. okay, but isn't Harry short for Harold? Typically? I guess so. But Henry, Hal can be short for Henry? Yeah. Well, Hank can be short for Henry. I guess that's true. My Henry is, is just the name where it's just like, name your kid Henry if you want it to be anything. It's like a... <laughs> Asterisk name it's like wild card. I guess yeah. it's not that weird, but my dad's name is Lawrence and everyone calls him Larry I guess that's typical, right? Yeah, I think so even though yeah, I was fighting with your dad on Twitter the other night Were you did you see that? No, what were you guys fighting about? We're bickering What were you guys fighting about? Oh, I was complaining Who loves that... me more? <laughs> 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 I was complaining that kettles take so long to boil here uh, <laughs> That, would, that oh, would be that. an started argument this, that my Started this massive <laughs> argument everyone was like Get an electric kettle. Ugh. Talking about an electric kettle, why would it why, take why would it to boil with gas? Do you, think, do you think American gas is slower than English gas? Talking it's, about because it's, it's imperial instead of metric. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if they're at vastly different altitudes, that would be accurate. But yeah, like the voltage is low here. Yeah. So it takes like three times as long what to about boil the kettle. An induction kettle. Do you have like an induction cooktop? I bet that would be. But that's still electricity, though. I have an induction cooktop, and if I try to boil water, like there's a boil water button on it, and it just goes like, and it goes like Bing. instant. Like you hear it, it makes a noise. It goes like, that's cool. And then it's just like your water's boiling. Hmm. So yeah, you should, you should come record it. It might actually be a good, <laughs> a good new slow mo sound. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> so what was the argument about? Um, so I was like going back and forth, and he was like, "Why do you need water to boil so fast?" What's the what's the hurry? Why not just get the cups and stuff out like, at the end? Well, and I was you're, like, d- you're doing it wrong. Again. Why do you need water to boil so fast? You just get the cups. You take your time. That's that's how my that's how my family talks. <laughs> to be honest, that wasn't coming coming through on Twitter very well. <laughs> and then I was like, "Well, Larry, I don't need it to boil that well, fast." Well, Larold, <laughs> Larold, Larold. <laughs> but then, then I was like, "Imagine if." Your TV just suddenly took four times as long to turn on. Mm-hmm. It's not a big deal. Go get some cups. <laughs> do, do some stuff. But when you were used to the TV turning on almost immediately, you'd be like, man, I'm, I remember when the TV used to turn on. Mm-hmm. Man, I remember 
Is that how it ended? Okay. Uh, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, maybe I'll show my age a little bit here, as if I don't do that all the time. But I remember being a kid and like TV's taking a little while to warm up. Yeah, the, the, like, the tube BRTs. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. you turn it on and be like, okay, in about thirty seconds, it's gonna be at full power. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it'll come on all dim. And yeah. Like, oh, like yeah. the wrong shape as well. Be like, and it would like grow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, we were still part of that. Okay. Good. Yeah, yeah, I remember Oof. that. Yeah, don't worry. But. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but I feel like changing the channel was instant. Right, yeah. It didn't have to like go black Re-acquire. and then come on. It would just be like. Well, I was having a, I was having like the dumbest problem the other day with, I think it was my PS4. No, no, it was with my Apple TV. It was with some stupid device where. If I like, let's say on my Apple TV, I selected a piece of content I wanted to watch. Like, so I was in the menu system of the Apple TV. Let's say I was in Disney Plus, I was going to watch The Mandalorian. Uh, and it, it wasn't just Disney Plus, it was any piece of content. I would go and I would hit OK on that content. And the screen would go black. And then it would come back up with the content. And then be like, well, I don't want to watch this anymore. So I'd like escape out. And the screen would go black. And then come back up with the menu. It's like, why is that not instant? Because it's switching to HDR. I, right, I know that it's like it's 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 like changing the format. It's yeah, going from like a signal through the cables. Right, it's like why? <laughs> Stop it! Stop <laughs> doing that. <laughs> Just why isn't the menu system by default in HDR already? I think you can set it to be. Can I? Because I went through the settings looking for this, and I couldn't figure it out. And it was like it was it was only taking like two seconds. But I was getting so fucking mad because <laughs> I think I was looking for something. So I was going through a bunch of content. I was like. Every time I have to look for something, it's costing me three seconds of my life, <laughs> and I'm fucking furious. Like I had to look at ten things. Like there's thirty seconds. Dude, technology makes people the worst. <laughs> no, like, it's like <laughs> you end up actually getting annoyed about such nothing issues. Right, like in the, before this, I would have had to go get discs and find them <laughs> and eject them and put them in. Like I'm, I'm, I'm sorting through on-demand entertainment. It's like 4K HDR, and I'm getting mad that it's taking a second. I don't know what it what happened. There, uh, there's a shift that happened in my mindset where I just like stopped caring. Like things take longer now, every now and then, or like if something's broken, I'm just like, uh, whatever. I, I'm mm-hmm. getting that way. It's because mm. like, is it? You're young. You think you have a lot of time. Let me tell no, you, it's... you don't. Every second matters. Live life. How, to its how long did you spend trying <laughs> to Com- fix it? Combine your eggnog and your <laughs> your <laughs> almond breeze. Uh. I think I spent like 10 minutes looking at it, right? It's like <laughs> way longer than the fucking the issue would have caused. Do you guys ever turn on Netflix with the intention of finding something to watch and you just get like selection fatigue? That's every time. I've and just ne- like don't watch something? I've never turned on Netflix without like the intent of knowing what I'm going to watch. Really? You never just like, let's find something to watch. I just feel like I don't have enough time to watch the shows that I, I really want to see. So I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm, I have time to, I'm going to go and find it. I'm never just like, but there's, oh, I, I feel like there's something <laughs> where it's like there's an obligation where like, I need to finish this, but I don't really have the energy to like think about it. So I just want something on in the background. Yeah. Or, like uh, lazy yeah. content. You know? I just feel like that's YouTube for me. I'll just find something on, something that's shorter on YouTube. Yeah. I found living alone. Like I lived alone for 10 years. And I would just like to have the TV on with something. It wasn't even like having music or a podcast on. It's something about like, there being something mm. visual and also audible in the room that made you feel like less lonely. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's I just, like a comforting I can see that. thing. I just do like podcasts a lot for that. Yeah, I just like turn on and walk around the house. I was listening to your podcast this morning. Oh yeah, as I was getting ready. Yeah, it's like it's a good like morning podcast because it's like the perfect amount of time for when you're actually getting well, yourself ready to well, go. It's not out. good evening. For well, it's good, yeah, it's good morning for me. Yeah, <gasps> you can have a mimosa oh, or a bloody mary. <laughs> <laughs> listen to it. You can. I've, yeah. I've been watching all the Star Wars is to get ready for new Star Wars, which mm. I've already seen now at this point. Uh, those original trilogy movies, no one was on set telling anyone how to pronounce anything. Oh, oh I think about that all the time. And Khan or Han. Han, uh, Princess Leah. Everyone British says Leah. Uh, Tatooine, Tatooine. It's all like there was no one. I feel like every time Obi-Wan says anyone's name, he says it. And totally no different. one corrected him because he's like <laughs> well, Alec could, Guinness. But. Could also be like it's all different dialects in space. Sure. I feel like it's though it changes sometimes even between characters. Yeah. Like Leia will sometimes say Han and sometimes say Han. Yeah. Mm. And, and like, um, what is it that Han uh, that uh, Obi Wan says to Luke? He says something. Use the Force. He says, he says that too, <laughs> but he says something the wrong way, and because. Luke's in the scene with him. He repeats it back to him the wrong way. 
But then in the rest of the movie, he says it the other way. Uh, I just can't remember what it was. It was, uh, it was when he's like doing the sparring and all that stuff. Lightsaber. Nope, wasn't that. <laughs> Lightsaber. It'll come to me. Jedi. <laughs> oh, he says, <laughs> everyone says Yoda at one point. Yoda? I was going like, to wait, say that. Did he say Yoda? Yeah. I was, I've been re-watching them too. I don't remember Yoda. <laughs> but the first time he mentioned, he's like, go to Dagobah, find Yoda. Yoda. Baby Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't roll off the tongue as easily. Yeah, and I'm, now it's all like, I assume they've got people in control of that. It's like, you have to pronounce it this right. way. But on, on the set of the original, especially the original two, no one was there doing that. Mm. I was, I've been, uh, when I get ready in the morning, I'll have the TV on here talking about, and uh, I've been rewatching Solo that way. And I, this, just this morning, I saw the, the explosion that they said was inspired, or that they used like a slow mo guys yeah. for reference. Uh, there's so much about that movie I'd forgotten. Like what? Like the, uh, the robot that flies the ship that uh, is into Lando and wants equal rights. Yeah, the uh, flea bag. Right. I was like, oh, I totally forgot that this robot existed. And that robot becomes like the Millennium Falcon. Spoiler. Like, yeah. It got, like, becomes the system computer, the ship computer. Yeah. I, I feel like <clears throat> when you watch the original trilogy, you can see where the, the prequels and like the other side stories try and cram in bits to make the original trilogy make more sense. But I feel like Solo does it the best. Mm -hmm. Like the fact that it used to be Lando's ship. All that stuff. I feel like when you watch episode five, they talk about stuff and Solo makes so much sense. But other movies kind of, they like shoehorn crap so, in. Well, Solo yeah. Was, Solo was pretty good. Solo is good. I, 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 honestly, Solo and Rogue One, I enjoyed so much better the second time watching it. Yeah, and I think they really got kind of shit on. <laughs> I think yeah. I liked Rogue One more than Solo. Maybe it's because I had higher expectations <clears throat> for the Han Solo movie just because mm. it's like a more fun character versus Rogue One. It's like I didn't have any like character preconceptions, mm -hmm. you know. I think the the main characters in Rogue One were a little flat. They they were in comparison. They were. To Solo. I think, but I think it, the like I don't know. Maybe it's just because I didn't care as much about the story. So I was like, oh yeah, this is just more a fun romp. And then with Solo, a I fun wanted... romp where everyone gets killed. Yeah, I mean, it's, Rogue One is a really good action movie. It's like it's like Saving Private Ryan, but in space. Well, it's like a Star Wars video game. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you were playing a video game, yeah. it's like, that's what, that's the movie I would want to play as a video game. What is your all-time number one favorite Star Wars movie? Empire Strikes Back. I think, yeah, Empire probably. Yeah. Empire, because I've just going, I've just finished the original trilogy. Empire stands out for some reason. It's mm -hmm. just like, that's a really good standalone it's, movie. It's, like, perfect. And it's the middle story yeah. in the trilogy, too. So it's, I don't know if it's you, really, like, standalone. It kind of just ends. It, it does. Like, it's not, like, a complete... Right. But on its own, it's like it's an amazing piece of cinema. Mm -hmm. Technically, it's amazing, and I think the first one is like they had no intention of making more of them. Right? They like I think they the first, the first one was almost like so much stuff. It's almost like a prototype or like an alpha version. Yeah, where it's like oh, we're gonna make this and see if it works, <laughs> and it works. Like oh shit! Like you can tell they clearly didn't ever plan for Vader to be Luke Stad in the first one. Mm. What year did Episode One come out? Two thousand seven. Oh, Episode One. Ninety <laughs> uh, yeah, nine. Okay, ninety nine. Interesting. It's it's so funny because I watched the original three Star Wars movies when I was very young. And out of every single movie, I remember episode one the most because I think it was like I was at an age where I could actually better <coughs> process Story. movies huh. and story. And so episode one, just like I remember that one more than any other. I've also like, how how old more. were you? I was 10. Do you think maybe it's also like you were kind of close in age to Anakin. It's like you yeah. kind of identify with a character on yeah. screen. I'm not also I'm not saying that I liked it the most. It's just the one I like remember the most vividly mm -hmm. in terms of like what happened in it versus the other ones that I saw when I was Which no, is bizarre I'm because that's st the storyline of episode one makes no, no sense. sense. Honestly, episode one stands out the most for me too. Like if you were to ask <clears> me <throat> if you were to like give me scenes from episodes two and three and be like which ep which one did it happen? I'd be like, I don't Yeah, fuck, no. don't fucking know. People shit on the prequels a lot for uh, because they're just not very good, but they shit on them for it just being all CG and stuff. There are so many practical effects in the original, in the uh, prequels. Oh, yeah? Like, they build so many models. The thing is, they just kind of, like, scan them in. They made a lot of miniatures and then just put it behind actors mm. on green screen. So it, it doesn't feel real, but a lot of the environments are totally real all through the prequels. And I feel like most people don't see that hmm. or don't realize that. They can't see it looking past Jar Jar. 
Yeah, there is a lot of CG filth in there too. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, we probably wouldn't have, ILM probably wouldn't have developed all the stuff they use now if it weren't for the prequels. Yeah, true. And like, I mean, I think like other movies must look a lot better because of the prequels. And I think also the prequels are the reason that we have a lot of the digital projection that we have now. I think they were like the first movies that really pushed theaters to upgrade to like a mm. digital projection instead mm, of uh, traditional film. Yeah. Which, I mean, <clears throat> is better because it doesn't well, look like shit over time. Like, that's the thing. Like, you would, if you used to go to the theater and watch traditional film, like every time it got ran through the projector, it degraded a little bit. So it's yeah. like, if you watch like an old movie, you'd be like, this looks terrible. It's just like all scratched up and grainy with the fucking cigarette burns in the corner. So would they not order, order new prints? They would eventually. But sometimes you'd get an old print. It was just like so shitty and fucked up. I hated that. Nowadays, you kids in your fancy <laughs> digital projection and your ones and your zeros. Well, we still have to wait two seconds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, why didn't Obi-Wan Kenobi remember R2-D2? That's, see, that's one of those things that's like, come on. Like, and also, like, I feel like George Lucas knew what he'd done in the original series. So it's yeah. like, why write himself into this weird corner where he's trying to shoehorn in all the classic characters like oh what if Anakin built C-3PO and it's like we well, didn't need to but don't make any damn sense like what if what if they just come across him later that doesn't make any sense and then they're like hiding Luke where like Anakin was they, like the whole point was to split up the twins right mm -hmm. and hide him like they just hid him at home don't make any damn sense the, the, and Obi went Obi-Wan <laughs> He Obi kept the Obi <laughs> See, I pronounce it differently too. <laughs> he he goes and hides on the same planet where Luke is, but keeps the same last name. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like ben. it's not really. I just changed my first name. <laughs> no one will know. Kenobi's just like Smith. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they keep going back to tattooing. They're always like, "Oh, that nothing planet out in the middle of nowhere." Yeah. Like, and every, it's like almost everything. Like even the Mandalorian went back right to tattooing. They should open a tattoo parlor on tattooing. Oh, and call it Tatooine. <laughs> Are you drunk, Chris? No, <laughs> I really like that. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> and 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 when Han Solo gets frozen in carbonite, just ends up back on Tatooine. Yeah, it's like, it's like of all the places, the whole galaxy, <laughs> everyone keeps going there. And yeah, even it's when like they Los make Angeles, a, or even when they make a new planet, like in the Force <laughs> Awakens, whatever it was, the planet Ray comes from. It's like, is that Tatooine? No, 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 that's a different desert planet. <laughs> <laughs> totally different with scrappers and it's slaves. hard because people have already seen the new movie I guess there's like early screenings for some people well and as when this comes out I mean it'll will. be out when yeah when this yeah. comes out and I'm sure How did some uh, of the don't av avoid the comments of this podcast. I'm sure people are gonna be spoiling stuff. How did the people get into those early screenings? Some people guess, here got into early screenings. Yeah, I think and I'm a little pissed off ask them how I think they might have They're like some relationship me. with some press company yeah. that has access to these. I'm more important than those people. I do the most important job at this company. <laughs> <laughs> I do this podcast. <laughs> he came in on fake Christmas day and he was sick. Yeah. Look how hard he works. Where's the tree? Where's our like... We didn't do anything this year. We? We got eggnog. You showed up five minutes late. What? So I don't know what's we. Oh, you. Yeah, but not he's you. not. Gus, he's... you were very early. Like, Thank you. He's not the producer though. That's true. Do you think if I got here five minutes early, I would have been hanging decorations, Eric? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that not what you were going to come and do? We were like, we were I told think Gavin's going to do this. He, he's drunk and he's on medicine. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what he's saying. Papa's on cough syrup. Yeah. <laughs> we really got to talk to HR about him. <laughs> he's slipping. Yeah, it's weird not being like, I don't want to drink booze now, but I don't... I because have nothing it's early? to drink. I want nothing to do with my hands. You, There's so many up, options. Some, some eggnog. I Just don't want the nog. Do you want my coffee? Do you want the, my half drinking coffee? Mexican yeah. hot chocolate. It's actually really good. It's really good. I it had goes good although with the it nog. has cinnamon in it's it. It's real cinnamon. But though. it's cold. It's good. But it's, it's chocolate milk. I don't think I want that. Put it in a cup now, and then in five minutes, <laughs> okay. it'll be warmer. Do you want me to like breathe on it for a little bit to Let, heat it up? Let's have it. Let's have some. Why don't we put it on a kettle and wait 20 minutes for it to heat up? So we were talking about, uh, Digital video or like on demand. Uh, are you okay? It was just so viscous that I started pouring it and I decided to check the cup and the oh. bit that I poured out went back in. <laughs> oh. um, all the Studio Ghibli movies are now finally available to buy digitally for the first time ever. Oh shit. It's it's a weird, like, you know how people used to give DVDs and Blu rays and stuff as presents? Mm -hmm. They don't, it, it does, you can't really do that with like digital things, right? Like, if you got a, a, a thing for a digital movie, does it feel the same? 
as a Christmas gift? Well, it looks the same when I watch it. I know, but does it feel as like, you're not, like, what are you unwrapping? You know, it's like, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as good, uh, as much like a present. I agree. Right? It's more ecologically friendly. You don't have to wrap as No, I, I think it's good. I think it's a good improvement, but like as far as a present. Well, you're here bitching about it, Chris. Well, I don't know. I, I'm all, you were bitching about the two second delay. So <laughs> like, what? I'm not so much bitching, just like conjecturing as like weird presents. Yeah, I was getting annoyed on uh, using Disney Plus because if you if you use the dog shit little Apple TV remote, yeah, it has like the back ten seconds thing. Yeah. yeah. Every time I use that, it just puts like a small buffering thing that oh, doesn't ever yeah. go away. Really? The movie will keep playing, and it's like. Why does that do that? Oh, I don't. I've I have not nice. experienced that. That sucks. Are you, do you just use watching the Apple any? Yeah. No. I, series that are like the Apple TV series. Yes. Which ones? I've been watching the Morning Show. Morning Show. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm caught up on that one. How is it? I think it started really strong. It started meandering for a bit, but now it's really strong I, again. I didn't even know Apple TV had series. We. we you might not have been on that podcast. We talked about it. I I guess before that one, I okay. didn't know. I mean, Apple don't. I feel like they don't spend a ton advertising. Stuff. Well, I think it's not a phone. They soft launched it too. Like it doesn't have a yeah. ton of content. <laughs> Plus, also they offered to give like a free year to everyone who got a new iPhone. So it's like keep it on the hush hush. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I think I think it's good. Also, I started watching For All Mankind. Uh, I watched several episodes of that, and I just kind of stopped. I just kind of fell off from that one. Boring. Yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of, it's fine. It's just like I, the other stuff came up that I'd rather be watching. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, the morning show is really good. Have you have you not seen it yet? Mm-mm. You should you should watch it. They released the first, I would say when Apple TV launched, they had the first three episodes available all at once, and I think it's a really strong start to that. And show. you get access to it just by having an Apple subscription. Yeah, if you have like or... if you bought a an iPhone this year, you have a year free. Oh, okay. Of cool. Apple TV hmm. Plus. Very cool. Shit. It's good. Another streaming service. Yeah. Yay. But wait till HBO Max comes out and destroys them all. <laughs> Ding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, <sighs> this, I, have, I gave a, a weird gift on accident. Well, uh, so this isn't a Christmas gift. This is not a Christmas. It was a birthday gift. Um, but uh, uh, Zach Anner was staying at my place for a few weeks. Um, well, you and, guys ate at Olive Garden every yes, day? Yes, yes. Uh, and he had never slept with a, um, a, a weighted blanket, and so I was like, hey, do you want to use... Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> he, uh, and so I was like, do you want to use my weighted blanket? And I, and, you know, I, get, I let him use it while I was staying, and he like loved it. He's like, oh man, it's great feeling, uh, like, I don't feel as alone. And I, <laughs> But like, you know, like jokingly, it's like, it's like a girlfriend. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. Sleeping on top of me. Uh, and so then uh, his birthday was in November or something, so I was like, oh, hey, what's your address? You know, and I'm gonna, I'll send you something, and then I sent him a weighted blanket. Um, and I was like, I, I was like, hey, did you get your package? And he's like, uh, uh, no, no, go check. I'll ch- go check. I'm like, okay, I'll check the next day. Like, hey, did you get your packet? You know, and, and he, and I was talking to him on the phone. He's like, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I, uh, yeah, thanks so much for the present. Um, I, I might need your help using it. Uh, I don't, and like, you might have to like, whenever, if you, if you're, uh, cause I know you're coming to LA, maybe we, you could help me use it. Cause I, I will definitely. We should film it because I don't know. It might make a mess in the bathtub. What? And <laughs> and I don't know if it's gonna like stain or what, what happened. <laughs> what, like, what, did, what do you think I bought? Oh, ordered the wrong thing. And I was like, I, that's what I was like. What are you talking about? And he's like, well, you got me the the sticky bath bathtub goo, the bat the the glitter kid goo. <laughs> and I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I and don't even know what that is. I I checked my Amazon order. And I think it was in my mailbox. I think it was a conversation. Your shopping cart? Yeah, yeah. And I think it was from during Extra Life or something. We had talked about one bit being like this. There's this like bathroom slime goo for kids. It's called uh, slime bath. And it's like <laughs> it makes your bathtub goo and it's purple. And I put it in my cart <laughs> and forgot about it. And I accidentally sent him that. But like just that, not even that, well, and I, the weighted no, blanket. No, the weighted blanket just didn't come for another couple days. Oh, oh so that so would have, uh, he opened it up and he's like bathroom slime. <laughs> and it's funny because you were so you're like, did you get your present? I sent you something really nice. And it's like four kids. It's got like kids on it. <laughs> it was the most confusing like 
five minutes. But Seriously. he's gonna he's gonna use it, right? Slime, Slime bath? bath. Bath. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's except for it's the glitter one, so it was like a purple. How do you package. get rid of that? Is it just like? Well, we haven't. I don't know. He hasn't drink. used it yet. <laughs> Wouldn't that clog all your shit? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it like dissolves after a certain amount of time, or I don't even know how that would work. That is so funny. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, did you guys try it when you were there? No, I, I, we were going to, but it was like, and then we we're like, oh, we should put it in the hot tub. <laughs> that sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> would that be like, like in a pool of Jello? Like if people want to take a bath in Jello? I don't know. I sent some to Blaine too, <laughs> <laughs> on because he he helped me out with like doing uh that that UT class kids thing because yeah. I was out of town, and so, so I you sent, sent him. him a gift? I sent him. A, I was like, hey, I sent you something as thanks, and it was this the glitter bath. <laughs> <laughs> did he use it? I don't know. He never said anything. He probably I, did. Yeah. I didn't want to tell you. Or maybe know. he didn't get it yet. Maybe not. He gets the weighted blanket instead. <laughs> yeah. He got the weighted blanket too. Amazon is such a lifesaver in terms of like coming up with gifts for people. Because mm. I just get people with Amazon gift cards now. I feel like that's a cop out though, because I'm I'm going It's like up what you talked about earlier. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm going up to uh uh, Trevor's family for Christmas and like I I know them somewhat because I met them a couple times but it's like I'm so bad at giving people gifts that people I don't know that well it's even harder to come up with like anything for them and I feel like it's kind of just like a cop out getting people gift cards but I feel like that's what I would prefer yeah rather then I than buy whatever I right, want it's, then it's not a waste of money right yeah you're not no, buying I totally some, get it. something that someone's like oh thanks I guess I like I'm this never Plus, gonna use this yeah. right I yeah, because then in that scenario, cheap. it's like the person wasted their time and money, and you get something that like, you're not really going to use. I guess it just doesn't feel thoughtful, which is how is it a better gift than just money, though? Because that feels weird, especially it, if you're it, like going over to your significant other. Hey, here's family thirty bucks. Stuff. I, I agree. Like, you're like, it's like weird hey, to just give someone. It's <laughs> a twenty. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> it is weird that like just cash is weird, but like yeah. a gift card is like slightly more thoughtful. I don't know why though. It's the same thing. I think it's because you're still. Buying something for them, yeah, but still, especially on Amazon, you can buy anything. Anything. It's the exact same as money. Yeah, sure, but it still feels less like, I don't know. It, you did. You went out of your way to do it versus like, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> here, I got you this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess no. As I was driving on the way here, I stopped <laughs> at an ATM. Let me yeah. uncrumple this fifty from my pocket. Yeah, I don't know. And I, it's funny because I was thinking about this the other day, but. If and when I do get married, I'm trying to figure out a way to s tell everyone I invite, like, just give me money. You can do that. Yeah. You can, you, you can very blatantly just say that. Or you can also like, say, hey, we're doing a, like a honeymoon. honeymoon. Yeah. Donate towards that. Yeah. yeah. And then it's like, oh, they're not giving you money. They're helping you do your honeymoon. They won't have, like, a registry of... There might be a couple things that... I, I mean, it also depends on, like, when and where in my life I am at that point in time. But, like... Just old. Can maybe use some new pots and pans. Just ask for money. <laughs> I don't think there's I don't think there's any problem <laughs> in setting that up. I, I think I've been to weddings like that before where it's like it makes it easier too. Just, yeah, just do that. Or just like here's my Venmo account. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I want to somehow put the bride emoji that way I know. It's just <laughs> <laughs> would you would you be annoyed if I talked to everyone who was going to your wedding and I convinced everyone to get you a blender? <laughs> like everyone. <laughs> yes, I would be mad, Gavin. You'd, have a, you you'd have a ton of store credit at Bed Bath and Beyond. <laughs> Remind That's me so never funny. to invite Gavin to any function that I am hosting. <laughs> We're totally gonna do this. That's so it's funny. Like the Gavin. same model too. <laughs> <laughs> if you do that, you, I'm gonna make you walk me down the fucking aisle. <laughs> give you away? Yeah. Step aside, Larry. That's where you and Larry can really argue. <laughs> I love her way more. <laughs> Just I go mean, get I've, some cups. I've known you almost as long as he's known you. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's true. That's true. It's a significant percentage you, of your well, life. I, I'm you, over 50 percent. Yeah, you're, I've known you more than half my life at this point, but he's known me my entire Look, life. As but, we all get older, you, we all get closer. Here's the thing. I bet you he's known you a greater percentage of his life than Larry has known Plus, you for his life. Yeah, Larry was oh, blowing time before you were born. Yeah, where he didn't even know about you. He didn't appreciate you for the entire <laughs> like first half of your life. Plus, also if you think about the years in which Barbara could talk, you're way over fifty percent. <laughs> like there's some yeah. shit years at the beginning. It's like she doesn't even know what she <laughs> is. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> we, that just ended like two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's still it's still going on a little bit. I have my days. It was funny when he would <laughs> come in and bollock you for being up all night. 
<laughs> yeah. talking to me on Skype. Well, yeah, because me and Gavin used to talk. And I don't know why. I guess it was like morning for you when we would talk. Because it was like 2 or 3 in the morning when I would be Skyping with Gavin. Yeah. And, and I, would, I would just be like going about my day and then... I would like watch the sun come up behind you, and he yeah. would come in and be like, "You went up all night again, wait." <laughs> or you'd like hear a knock at my door, Barbara. Go to bed. <laughs> it's like it's, I it's will six a.m. <laughs> I'm working on my future career. <laughs> <laughs> I'm networking. See, Dad, it worked out. It was important. It was important work. Yeah, <laughs> having you give me words to read the definitions of. That's like all we did on Skype. Yeah, I'm gonna be like. All right, here's this one. What was it? Felch was one of them? I, I would just look up shit. I'd be like, read the definition of this on a <laughs> God. It was some weird... It was a very uh, typical childhood friendship. Mm-hmm. Yep. It was pretty Embarrassing useful. myself for someone else's entertainment. Don't was... you wish you had those videos? You could watch yourself? There are some videos that I have, like, me and my friends used to make really dumb, goofy videos. That some of which I put on the Rooster Teeth website at the time on the community site. I remember seeing some of them. Yeah, it was with my you, friend Brittany, we did a lot of stuff. Mm, I, I, you should you should do that that panel that we do with the embarrassing films at RTX. Yeah, the problem is you I should... can't find them. Like I know they exist somewhere. That my house has like a lot of like old stuff that we've accumulated over the course of our lifetime. It's like in storage or in this. My room's still full of stuff that I had growing up. So it's like I don't even know where to look for this. Mm. Or and a lot of it was on my computer, which I don't have anymore. So I don't know yeah. if it's like yeah. lost forever. I, when I was drive out? when I was in high school, I recorded a bunch of stuff on VHS cameras. Do you have it? I'm trying to find it. I've been through so <laughs> many VHS tapes looking. For, if you find it, oh uh, yeah, because I wanted I want to do that, but I've been through so many fucking VHS tapes looking for shit I made when I was in high school. You gotta get that stuff off VHS soon. Yeah, I know that stuff's gonna start rotting. Like, shit, um, yeah. I had a VHS camera and a VCR, so I would do like very basic. Like editing oh, yeah. between the two of them together, and it was like light years beyond what anyone else in my small town was doing. So it's like, <laughs> anytime there was a project at school, I'd be like, "Can I just make a video instead?" I would <laughs> do the exact <laughs> same thing. I would do the same thing. I'd be like, "Can I do this as a video?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a class that was called ComTech. I think it stood for Communications Technology, and you could choose whatever project you wanted to make, and I would always choose video because you'd always get like perfect marks for it because right. it's like more effort than a lot of things. So, yeah, they didn't understand. But it's so much easier. <laughs> yeah, they didn't yeah. understand the process behind it. I remember once I filmed a video with Frank, you know, you know from Heroes and Halfwits, and I made it look like he was holding something and then it disappeared and we just like paused the recording. Yeah. Someone went, went in and removed it and we started recording again and the teacher in the class was like, how did you do that? <laughs> and I was like, I mean, I, I can't even begin to tell you. Like, if you, if I, I did want, uh, a movie where I was a, a hitman or something, and then I get uh, thrown off of a bridge. But I just like I had him. We I did a wide shot where we were in the center center of the bridge, and then I went and did the thing where I got thrown over over at the very end of the bridge, and just like where it's like a five foot drop. Yeah, and the entire class gasped like <gasps> how'd you do that <laughs> they're like what did you actually jump and i was like, like yeah no. <laughs> you just roll yeah jump and roll i got i got so much old footage because i had that little hi8 camcorder i got, filmed i filmed so much stuff on that i have a box of tapes of hi8 or i like i've been meaning to get it digitized yeah i might i might do a video on my second channel of just like all the old stuff i did when i was a teenager I used to set myself on fire a lot. Oh god. Oh, I did that too. L looking back at it, I'm just like, how did I not get hurt? What if, what <laughs> absolute idiot? <laughs> there are so many bad videos on the internet of people <clears throat> doing things with gasoline and fire. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. I think like so many people don't realize that gasoline is explosive and the fumes are flammable. Yep. Oh, and that shit, that yeah. leads to like disaster so many times. I, I see videos all the time. Where I'm like, this person is an idiot. And I did that when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm just like, it's amazing how you, you just take stuff for granted when I, you're younger. It's just like even f when you're fucking older, I see people just being idiots. Like, obviously, you're seeing it on like Reddit or wherever the worst of the worst things get posted. But like, even just driving around in Austin, someone will just like be like driving straight up behind me and like scoot around me really fast going like 100 miles an hour. And I'm like, you're mm -hmm. a, f a fucking idiot. Someone changes lanes not seeing you coming you're fucking dead yeah and it's just I, like reckless shit like that I, I don't understand it i was driving by the roundabout over here the other day approaching <gasps> the roundabout uh i was in the left lane and someone was in the right lane then they like i guess they realized they needed to be in the other lane so they tried to change lanes they didn't see me uh and then at the last second they like swerved away they saw that i was there 
and then they honked at me. Yeah. And I was like, I'm, I was just driving straight. Why am I getting, why am I getting honked at? Like, you didn't see me. You almost hit me, and then you honked at me. Didn't you make a tweet like yesterday, Gavin, about something, some driving related thing in Austin? Well, yeah, because everyone's on their phone. Yeah. That's like, terrible. You'll see the light go from red to green. And if the, even if there's three lanes, no one will move. It's like or all like, three people are on their phone, and, and nobody else is honking. Like Go! I'll sit there yeah, and I'll be like four cars behind. Honk. I'll be like, I have to honk. Yeah, yeah every, I was like, eh, the the green light should come with a honk. It because, really should. Yeah, yeah, green and traffic light. And everyone's like, how about people just don't be on their phones? I was like, obviously that is the better solution, but no one's doing that. And then everyone was like, you don't even drive. And I was like, do you think that me as the passenger? Can like warp through the car when when the light goes green. Like I'm still in the car. Also, I'm you sti still care about your own safety. I care about safety. I gotta be places on time. Right. It doesn't matter if I'm not driving the thing. Right. That's why he was five minutes late. <laughs> no, Gavin, you you can't have an opinion about cars because you don't drive one. Yeah. If you don't drive it, you don't use it. Although I I still think you should be helping Meg look for parking spots when that happens. I forgot about that. <laughs> then and then I think you. Might need to rethink. We were supposed to go out after that conversation, and I was supposed to help you look for a parking spot. Oh yeah, and we didn't. We didn't. Post show, and that was three yeah. years ago. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Eric was quick to say yeah. Come on in my car. Um, you guys were out at the holiday party, right? No, you I weren't. Wasn't. I went to the LA one. Chris was out of town. Gus, I, I was at home. You didn't go. Gavin was there. Oh. I was there. It was a good party. It was a good venue. Lots of people dancing, which is nice to see. I didn't like that, it. Was it nice to see? It was, yeah. Because it's like, I don't know, it makes it more fun. People around here dancing? Yeah. I thought that was my least favorite holiday pie. Why? Just the venue was weird. It's like very like echoey and... What about compared to the one from last year that was just in that... That was... <laughs> last year we didn't... It, it was a... It was in the hotel. It was a it hotel It was a two-hour like, mixer from yeah. five to seven after our uh, yearly yeah. all-hands. That one was <laughs> shit too. <laughs> I was proud about that one though because... Were you? Yes. Uh, proud I remember me and uh, James, we started the coat pile because every it was that big empty room and there was nowhere to put coats. Oh, but yeah, I put my coat in that. That Yeah. They that was started me. that. That yeah. was Chris. I remember day. I was like, I was talking to James. I was like, dude, we should just start the coat pile. It's like, <laughs> yeah. And then, and then we and then we put our coat, we just set them down. It's like and then one it, night I wore a coat too. I was like, man, it's hot in here. Yeah. Well, Chris, guess what? What? The party this year had a coat rack. Well, Step I don't know what I would have done there, so I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I didn't go. So, was your coat at the very bottom? You had to wait for everyone else to leave. No, you get your coat? no, uh, because at some point the hotel people came and they're like, uh, they brought out uh, uh, little coat racks like after the fact, and then started mm -hmm. moving everyone's coats. And I was like, you've destroyed everything I've done. <laughs> <laughs> you've added organization to this shit show. Chris. Fuck you. No, uh, yeah, I made incredible. the mistake at the holiday party of. Like, got there, went to the bar, it was open bar, got a drink, and two seconds later, Nadia's like, let's go do shots! Oh, God. And I was like, fuck. And they poured us tequila shots, and it was probably... That was your second drink? Was that a tequila was my shot? second shot was a tequila shot, but it was not one shot. It was probably three shots worth of tequila. Oh, was it just, like, huge and overfilled? Yeah. Oh, my God. <sighs> Which is, like... Did you get drunk? I literally took that shot, and 30 seconds later, I'm like, I'm drunk. Man, I haven't seen you drunk in a while. Yeah. I don't remember you drunk at that point. It was, I mean, it was like, I haven't been like drunk, drunk, drunk in a really long time. I was like definitely tipsy. And then right after that, they started doing like the end of year awards and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> you rock. And I was just like clapping quietly. It was not my best form. I, uh, yeah, I feel like I got drunk right at the end. Mm hmm. And then when I got home, I was like, oh, I'm drunker than I was at the party. <laughs> I was yeah. just in bed like, <laughs> We ended up going out after, too. So it was a fun night. It was a good night. I, I want to get drunk with you and drunk. I haven't seen you drunk in, like, for my birthday. If I go do something for my birthday, will you get drunk? Yes. Okay. Sure. When's your birthday? Yeah. Uh, January 18th. January 18th. Huh? You there get drunk right now. There. Yes, yeah, but yeah. They, we're at work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Michael's right. He said so. so. <laughs> Can we have more alcohol-based shows? Like, two people just get hammered in a room on camera. Yeah, you. Isn't that off that? topic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more than two. Um, yeah, we could do that. I think that the thing about drinking for me, I don't really like drinking that much. But if I know it's like, oh, someone's birthday, they want to go out, they want to do this. Like, okay, I'll go out, I'll drink with them. 
like Meryl had her birthday, I think it was two years ago, where she's like, I want to go to this place for dinner. And then I want to go to Barbarella's, which we've talked about on the podcast before. It's like the last place you go when you're out drinking. You are probably already drunk when you get there. And so I went into the night with that mindset of like, okay, I'm going to get drunk tonight. And I got drunk. It's I did like, a hold fucking my beer so did a body a shot. shot. <laughs> <laughs> on, I, I think I did one off of Texas. I did one off of Mariel. Um, so if, yeah, if I'm prepared, I'm good. It was like off topic too. When we took over off topic, I was like, I'm going to get drunk on this show. My, my main reason for not getting as drunk anymore is that I just always have something to do the next day. Yeah. And it, yeah. even if it's like, the, even if it's the weekend, it's like, I'm just going to be worthless tomorrow. You also don't want to waste the weekend. That's something I've noticed <clears throat> so much now where like you're so busy and have so much going on during the week where you're like, the weekend's about to be here. This is where I get to like clean my house mm -hmm. and like spend time watching shows or playing video games and like relaxing that you don't want to sleep in and waste that free yeah. time. Yeah, everybody's working for the weekend. Nobody? Mm -hmm. right. um, it's okay. Got it. Thank you. I got it. I mean, okay. I got it. We just couldn't sing it. Um, <laughs> Everyone's. Uh, so we had that uh, that tequila podcast years ago, and that was terrible because we had received a bottle of tequila and we recorded an audio podcast and we drank the entire bottle. <gasps> and then we were just like, the day was wasted. Was, I, yeah. I think it was like me, Michael. Bernie? I don't remember who I remember Michael was on. I remember who else was on. It. Oh, I'm right here. Were you there? Yes. I don't remember. I re I, we I don't know if I was here yet, but I remember that podcast. We were done recording and we were like, like 10 a.m. Yes, yeah, like there's still the whole day of work to go. <laughs> yeah, because they were a sponsor, right? Or something the, like in that. The unofficially, yeah, they gave uh, yeah. us a bottle of tequila. We're like, all right, fuck it, we'll drink it. <laughs> they never came. Back. You want to do that again? No. Yeah. Mm. I'm in. Yeah. I mean, Gus is sick. He doesn't have to come let's in. Do for Chris's, let's do it for Chris's birthday. Yeah. When's your birthday? <laughs> The 18th of A January? 18th of January. Okay. You mean Bernie's birthday? Who? <laughs> it, wait, is that? <laughs> that's, a, that's a Saturday. Can we do it the 20th? Yeah. I'm going to set it up right now. Okay. All right. Oh, God. Thank you. All right. What am I? Let me, yeah. what, what do you want to drink? Is it tequila or is it something else? We can do tequila. Do Or whatever you, or just. You're the, you're the birthday yeah. boy. I'm you the birthday boy. Also, maybe pick something that's good with like a mix. Okay. I like mean, I really will. I, I don't really care. So what do you guys want? It's your birthday, dude. All right. Let's just have full bar. Full bar. Yeah. Well, I Fine. Okay. Happy birthday, birthday boy. Birthday, birthday boy. I'll and we will arrange lifts to get home that night. Yeah. Yes. We will. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure we get all the details covered and everything. Yeah. But we'll I, say drink on January 20th, just, I just dive. I just sent the calendar invite to there everyone. There you go. Don't on drive to work that day. Teeth. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous now. <laughs> You're, you're you're really excited about this, Chris. It's like one thing to know you're gonna drink; it's another to know you're gonna get drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah, like, I feel like it's it so rarely just happens anymore that it's now always an event. Like especially with the holiday party, it's like, okay, so I'm gonna get drunk that day. Yeah, I'm gonna get. Before we did the always open takeover of off topic, before I left the house. I put two Advil and a bottle of water <laughs> on my so nightstand, and I put my pajamas on the bed, like ready to We're go. So <laughs> and I was like, "I'm gonna come home to this." <laughs> <laughs> oh. And Trevor had to like change me because I was just like, "Meow." <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, it's different when you're young. It's like you don't care. Yeah. No, we're all old and breaking. I Sh hate it. Should we arrange like a minute delay on the live broadcast that day? Just in yeah, case. probably. In <laughs> case of like vomit or no, that's fine. Trade secrets. It's like a, it'll be like our version of the Mega sixty four Christmas cast. Oh God! <laughs> Can we get banned from our own site? <laughs> yeah, they got. I think they got banned from Twitch for a week, right? Yeah, they're they're back now. Yeah. Okay. Cause what they do, were, what they, do they do? So every year they do this thing called the Christmas cast, and I don't know how it started. Eric, you might have to jump in, but it was. This thing where they all bring a food item that they eat on the show, and it's usually either something really gross or something that would be really terrible to consume a lot of. Um, for example, I think... I think that's where they had the surf drumming, right? I think, yeah, the, the surf drumming, and I think, I want to say Brian did, like, condensed chicken noodle soup, but, like, 20 cans of it. Ooh. So, like, the, the sodium should have killed him. It was... Well, he vomited it. <laughs> so, we've done a lot of weird foods. I think Brian is always my MVP for that because he ate right. an entire KFC family meal by himself. <laughs> that was one All year. the sides and the everything? It, I mean everything. everything. He sat and he ate the entire thing. It was like, it was too much, obviously. Uh, he ate, I think he made like a whole salad, but didn't, nothing was like cut. He ate like fruits and vegetables 
like with skin on, like just biting into a banana. Oh, yeah. Like biting into an orange, Lemons. all that stuff. Yeah, he drank a whole thing of honey, but I guess if you drink like a lot of honey by itself, it can like make you really sick or kill you. So he washed it down with a whole bunch of wine. If you go and find <laughs> the highlights, the best ever is Sean Chatfield drinking a an entire, not like a like a regular bottle of wine, like those big like, like the value pack. Yeah, th huge thing of wine. He throws up the way that a fire hydrant is like opened. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. <laughs> But Rocco oh, kept putting like butter on Sean's face. Yeah. But Sean was so drunk he couldn't defend himself. So Christmas cast is always in abundance and then throwing up. So now they've moved into food competitions, eating a whole bunch of food I, I as fast year, as they can. And they were eating broccoli. That, so there was there was one that was just how many of these florets of broccoli can you eat? Whatever. And it got to like these rounds deeper and deeper. And the final round was uh duck tongue. So they had to eat as many duck tongues as they could. As many. Uh, yeah. How, how many was the most? I don't remember, but it was too many, and they have little bones in them. Oh. oh. Yeah. Wait, bone ducks have bones in their tongues? Yeah. I like that that competition immediately puts you in like the top one percent <coughs> of of like the people who have consumed the most duck tongues. Yeah. Like, because yeah. no one's had duck <laughs> tongues. Like, you have You're like two there. of them, and it's like, ah, oh, I'm in. You're upper echelon. Yeah. How did that start? Like, what was uh, the thing that was like, let's do this for Christmas? It started a long time ago, and it was like, oh, I think we're just, it was when the podcast was starting. And it was, I think we could drink a whole gallon of milk in an hour. And everyone, then everyone going, like, no, you can't. And then they're like, no, nah, we'll do it. So they did it, and they couldn't do it, and yeah. everyone threw up. And then the next year, it was like, well, let's just do it with like weird foods. So it's bringing like, a huge thing of mayonnaise or ketchup <laughs> or whatever, and it's just disgusting. The, the grossest part of the Christmas cast to me, and I'm sorry, Gavin, uh, if this makes you sick, but the fact that Rocco wears the same thing every year and it has dried vomit. Oh, <laughs> it is. It's so, like a Santa costume. Oh, he's had it for years, and Sean <laughs> finds it. And throws it away, but Rocco recovers it somehow. <laughs> so not only is it covered in vomit, it's also been in the in the yes, trash. Yeah. So last year, it was eating a lot of sour cream was one of the oh. things, and it got it got all over Rocco. But Rocco knew that he wanted it for the year after, so he put it in a bag and no. shoved it in the corner of his office. And he didn't reveal that he still had it until he was on the show. And he said, this has been in the bag oh. in the corner of my office for a year. <laughs> oh, my God. He pulled it out. He put it on. It smelled terrible. It was just everyone going, oh. And then he started licking it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we have a show like that? Uh, no, I let no. That's we're not extra having a show like that. <laughs> I left that. Yeah. I'm not doing that. That's ugh. Can I was just there slowly one acquire that whole company. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you like, want to watch until it, we just have up. all of Mega sixty four. I was there one year for it. Oh yeah, for Christmas cast. Mm -hmm. Um, and I remember thinking like, I really hope they don't make me eat anything, or like, I hope I don't have to bring anything because I'm there. Because mm -hmm. everyone also, you guys have a lot of people watching the show oh, yeah. too, so people bring their own shit to eat. And I copped out by saying, I'll just take a bite of everybody's thing. <laughs> That's Everyone just delicious. wants to be and there, but no good. one wants to eat anything. Right. I mean, it really is bad. I just, because I produced the whole thing and I, I would be punching it. So it w I would just go, well, I have to work right. the cameras. But the smell, Gavin, the smell, Gavin, the smell of vomit all in one bucket from half eaten food is the gross. With that surströming, Ugh. we couldn't get the smell out for like a week. It was miserable. At least it's not like summer where it's hot as well. Well, I mean, oh. it's, it's San Diego, so it just gets hot during the... Oh, that's... Our old studio was just a place where they used to like repair cars, like a garage kind of like bay. Yeah. So there was no insulation, so it would always just get super, super hot and then super, super cold. So the smell oh, would like God. bake in <laughs> and then... Reactivate when it was Yeah, there. and then never and you have release. a fucking sour cream suit. Yep. In the how, how much for you to... Like get a small bucket of water, put in Rocco's old outfit with all the stains on, leave it in there for a night, pull it out, and then drink a cup of that water the next day. <laughs> no. No. That's what? like the gr oh, this is my eyes water. That's disgusting. I don't know. Oh, it's there's like different colors on it and stuff from there. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be sick. Uh 
Yeah, this so, is for cool. So check it out, uh, youtube.com slash <laughs> uh, They just Christmas. put it up today. My favorite well, thing is the cut down that they would do of like, it was like a minute or minute and a half. And mm -hmm. it's just like seasons greetings. <laughs> it's really Merry bad. Christmas. It's, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Good times. Yep. They also ate chicken feet. That was gross. Ugh. Yep. Ugh. There you go. Be drink, eat, and drink responsibly. I saw that uh it made me think about this. I used to drink responsibly. I saw that Glenn Livet is gonna start selling glassless cocktails. What? They look like little Tide Pods. Oh, I saw that. Did yeah, you see that? I want one. That's what I want. What? For your glass, birthday. Glass yeah. Glassless cocktails. We'll eat all our drinks. They're like, they tide look pods. like Tide Pods, but they're filled with alcohol. Oh, that's going to really help the whole don't eat the Tide Pod thing that people have going on. <laughs> you can only eat Tide Pods if you're over 21 and if you eat them responsibly. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's them. We should get, we could just, if those are expensive, we could maybe just one each. They kind of look like uh, like chocolates. Yeah, that you'd unwrap. Let's get some chocolates too. I don't know. <laughs> We're just throwing chocolate. ideas out there. Yeah, it's his birthday. You figure it out, Eric. Thanks. <laughs> That's what you do. You're good at it. We have faith. All right, uh, it's the holidays. I got presents to go unwrap. We should we should we should wrap this up. Oh. So I don't oh. unwrap presents. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Happy we'll be live Christmas. next week. Bye Happy now. Christmas. All right. Bye. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this episode of the podcast. As always, there's some videos right down here below you can click on and watch if you like this program. You can also click on that bell over there uh, to get notified whenever we have new videos. And leave us a comment. Let us know what's the best Christmas present you ever got or a Hanukkah present. Or just present. Or just present. Or worst. Or worst. <laughs> leave a comment.